Hi Stitchers, it is Dee Stitcher here and I am here to bring you my six month review back. It is June and six months has gone by in the year and now is the time that I like to go through what I've been doing all year, whether I'm on track and how I want the rest of the six months to go. So last year, if you don't remember, I did sort of a tag and I asked four questions about how your year is going and I'm going to use those same questions because it helps me reflect on how my year is going. Uh, I've been wanting to do this for a while. It is, today is July the 12th. It is my youngest daughter's fourth birthday today. So we had her birthday party. I've just been stitching here and I'm editing here. So. I thought now is the perfect time to talk to you guys because the kids are in bed and it's quiet. So let's do this. Okay, so the first question is, is the year going the way that you thought? I have my notes here so if I'm looking down, you know why. Um, is, the, what, is my year going the way I thought it would? Yes, it is. Now at the beginning of the year on my, in my 2016 plans, I said that I was going to be doing a thing called whip those whips and I'm doing that along with Bonnie. Uh, Bonnie's also doing a whip those whips. She currently has it on hold. She is the purple frog stitcher I think she changed her name to. Bonnie correct me put your put your put your new uh, your new name down if I didn't get it right. Purple purple frog stitches I think is her is her new stitching channel but it's Bonnie it's the same same old Bonnie. Anyway so She's doing that and I'm doing that and I managed to get three projects finished. Now, you know that I don't dedicate, you know, whip those whips and I only work on that one whip. It's just one whip that I am bringing back and it's typically an older whip that I want to concentrate on and get done. So along with all my other whips, you know, like the Learning Sampler, Esther's Wave, Frozen White, you know, all those other big projects that I do all month. I want to bring back an old whip and I want to whip it so that it gets done. And I've managed to do it to three so far. I'm going to have four coming up. And so that's going along really great and I'm really happy with that and I think that I'm going to continue on with that even into 2017. Uh, second question is, have you learned anything about yourself? Now this year, yes, I have learned something new about myself when it comes to stitching. Uh, I have learned that I want to stitch what I love and love what I stitch. I think it's really important to not follow the crowds unless it's something that you really, really want to do. And, and what I'm talking about is all the cells that go on in all of the groups. There are thousands of cells everywhere. You know, depending on what group you're in and if you belong to a couple of groups, there's lots of cells. So, well, I only like to do the cells if they fit in with what I'm already doing. Uh, yeah, so I only do the cells that fit in with the whips that I'm doing or if it's a project that I really wanted to do and I really planned on doing. I don't have, there's not a sal going on that I, oh, I have to go find a whip for that or a new start for that. I, I just don't work that way. I just don't work that way. So I've learned that I need to stitch what I love and love what I stitch and put my heart into it because that's basically what I'm doing when I stitch. Question number three. Have you learned any new techniques? Yes, I have learned new techniques. I have learned front loop start. I have learned that you can front tail end, which means you end your thread by just pulling it through the front of your fabric the next 10 blocks over, and you just let it there, and then you stitch over it, and then you cut it off. Um, the Veiled Stitcher, I think, is the one who started that on Plus 2. And, yeah. So you can go check out her video if you don't know what I'm talking about. I've also learned 
several new specialty stitches in the Learning Sampler and Esther's Wave. Um, a lot of them I've never done before. I don't know if I will do them again. Well, if they're in Northern Expression Needlework patterns, I will because I'm stuck on those guys for the rest of my life. But, yeah, I've learned new specialty stitches, so that's new. Uh, number four. What do you want to accomplish over the next six months? Do, 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 turn the page. I want to finish. Come December, I'm going to finish Esther's Wave. I'm going to finish it. Learning Sampler, I'm going to finish it. Ladybug, that's getting done in September. The Linus, September. Fiberlicious Butterfly. That's a silhouette. I hope to get that done by December, too. And then I want to get a lot accomplished on Catching the Wind. And I want to get a lot accomplished on Bell. I want to get a lot accomplished on Frozen White. It's not going to be a finish. It's not going to be a finish for quite a few years yet. But picking away at it, getting it done. It'll get done. And then up on the rooftop, which I will be starting again in September. September to December is when I work on up on the rooftop during the Christmas season. Last year I only worked on it from October to December, and I felt like I needed more time with it. And I, once Christmas is over, I basically want to put all Christmas stuff away. Okay, you're done. So I don't want to work on it come January 1st, basically. And so I decided that this year I was going to start it in September. So that's what I'm going to do. And so going into 2017, I'm going to have seven BAPs, which I still have, because none of them are going to get finished. Uh, zero special, I'm going to start my year off with zero specialty stitches, and I'm going to start new specialty stitch projects come January. Uh, I'm going to have three medium projects, which are uh, Snow White, Bell, Catching the Wind. I call those medium-sized projects. And one silhouette, which would be um, the, a dragonfly from Lovely Threads, which I started years ago, back when Bev was still running Lovely Threads. So that's a total of 11 whips that I will turn over into 2017. And so I plan that's what that's what my plan is for the rest of the year and I hope that you join me in my adventures and I am enjoying watching all of you as always and I'm enjoying finding the new floss tubers who are just joining us now in the community. Uh, I don't uh, find as many as I would like, um, but I'm finding you, and I'm watching you, and if I don't comment, it's, I'm sorry, because I put you on a, a automatic play, and then it just plays, and then I'm stitching bad me. But I try and comment. I'm trying to get better on commenting. But that is it for my six-month review. Uh, I hope you guys are all having a great year, and I hope you guys are getting everything accomplished that you want to get accomplished, and that you're stitching what you love stitching, and you're doing it the way that you love doing it, and uh, yep, happy stitching, and I will see you guys again really soon. I'm going to do um, Jesse Marie's behind the scenes tag, I'm going to do that, and then I will do my update at the end of the month. So take care, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again. Bye-bye. <laughs>
I've also learned 